先制クジャク。Today we're going to discuss Karma Holdings, the parent company of SRF Limited. Karma Holdings owns 50.53% of SRF Limited. As of the middle of November 2022, SRF's market capitalization is approximately seventy thousand two hundred and forty-six crore rupees. As such, the market value of Kama Holding shares of SRF is thirty-five thousand four hundred and ninety-five crore rupees. Kama Holding's market capitalization, though, is only eight thousand five hundred and twelve crore rupees. This means that the market is attributing a roughly seventy-six percent holding company discount to Kama Holding shares in SRF. There are two primary questions that one must consider when evaluating Kama Holdings. First, what is your view on the underlying business of SRF? And second, what is the appropriate holding company discount that should be attributed to Kama's ownership stake in SRF? SRF is India's largest specialty chemicals company with a focus on fluorine chemistry. It is a market leader on many of its products and continues to invest heavily in increasing its scale and market share in these products while also also adding new products to its product portfolio. This division has grown tremendously in recent years and has been the primary contributor to the meteoric rise in SRF's market capitalization. SRF also has two older business divisions namely packaging films and technical textiles. SRF's packaging films business produces BOPP and BOPET which are used mainly in producing packaging for consumer goods. The technical textiles division mainly produces nylon tire cord which is used in the manufacture of bias tires for commercial vehicles. All three divisions of SRF have grown handsomely and management continues to invest in each of them. Without getting too deep into the future prospects of SRF as a business, it is clear that management has done an outstanding job creating three engines for growth. In particular, They deserve credit for spotting the opportunity in fluorine before most and investing in what was then a completely unrelated business segment and scaling it to become the largest fluorine chemistry company in India. With that in mind, many investors remain bullish on SRF's business and believe that the company will continue to expand thereby growing both its revenue and profits. This brings us to the second question. Kama Holdings cash inflow comprises mainly dividend received from SRF Limited. and has no major operating business of its own in addition to its ownership in SRF Kama Holdings also owns shares in SRF Transnational Holdings Limited an NBFC engaged in investing in securities Shri Educare Limited a business that manages schools Shri Educare Maldives Private Limited which operates a school in Maldives in partnership with the Maldives government Kama Realty Delhi Limited which acquires rental properties and Kama Real Estate Holdings LLP which also acquires rental properties Dividend received from SRF accounts for over 98% of Kama Holdings earnings Unlike most holding companies Kama Holdings distributes most of its income as dividend to its own shareholders In FY22 for instance Kama received approximately 107 crore rupees in dividend from SRF and in turn paid out close to 103 crore rupees in dividend to its shareholders. This is in stark contrast to many holding companies that unnecessarily retain dividend received from operating subsidiaries or invest in low return assets. This should also give you an indication of the governance standards of the group, a key intangible consideration. Given this fact, it is somewhat strange that Kama Holdings trades at such a steep discount to the value of its ownership in SRF. If Kama Holdings is effectively a conduit for dividend received from SRF, it is important to consider whether Kama's market capitalization should more closely reflect its holding in SRF. In the event the holding company discount reduces, which may happen for multiple reasons, including hypothetically a merger between Kama Holdings and SRF, so as to eliminate this holding structure, Kama Holdings shareholders would benefit enormously. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable. Like and subscribe to learn more about business and investing.